We look at hyperbaric oxygen therapy in the context of achieving and maintaining that glucose ketone index that more or less kind of cripples the cancer's ability to protect itself from oxidative stress. Chemotherapy, chemotherapeutic agents and radiation kill cancer cells through augmenting oxidative stress. So hyperbaric oxygen can reverse tumor hypoxia and tumors tend to grow. The expanding biomass of a tumor outstrips its ability to the blood supply, essentially. So as a tumor grows, it becomes more hypoxic. That damages the mitochondria more and kicks on more oncogenes to further make the cancer more aggressive. When you do hyperbaric oxygen, that is elevating the tissue levels of oxygen independent of hemoglobin, meaning that hemoglobin is already saturated, but by increasing the barometric pressure, you're pushing oxygen into the plasma into the liquid component. So that allows, because tumors have like erratic blood vessels that enables the oxygenated plasma to perfuse into the tumor in a way that a red blood cell can't get to. And that would reverse the tumor hypoxia, hyper oxygenate the tumor. And when damaged mitochondria are exposed to very high levels of oxygen, we're talking about going from like 10 millimeters of mercury to like 2000 millimeters of mercury, that Oxygen is a substrate for reactive oxygen species. So when the mitochondria, which are damaged in cancer cells, sees that concentration of oxygen, it goes into the electron transport chain and spits out superoxide anion.